Good afternoon guys, welcome to my shack, GZOLZX. Little video, just to give you a bit of a heads up. Since the advent of FT8 and FT4 and data modes, I've been seeing quite a few people posting on social media uh, saying they're calling CQ and no one's replying back to them and they're not sure whether they've got a fault with their system or the system's getting out at all. There is a website called PSK Reporter. So we open up the browser. Bear with me. It goes to Google. If we type in uh, PSK Reporter. PSK, PSK Reporter, which is that. We click on the top. Gives us that link. So we click on PSK Reporter there you'll notice it brings you a map up so depending on what frequency you're transmitting on I'm actually on 28 7 4 at the moment and as you can see uh, I've got no spots at all no one can hear me at the moment because I'm not being transmitting so I'll just zoom out the map so if you look, it's on 10 metres and it's got my call sign and sent and received and 15 minutes. If I click on go, which is there, it shows you the stations I've been receiving, which is in all in pink. They're the stations I can hear. So now if I go into transmit mode onto my FT8 and click enable. So I'm now calling CQ, which is on 2874. The, the frequencies change because I've got a fake set up on my JTDX. But you'll notice I've called CQ once. If I go on to back to F uh, PSK Reporter and click on go it starts to populate of where my signal is actually being heard so that's basically over Europe and that's into North East America and that will continue to populate every time you call it happens better uh, if you're doing it for testing it happens better if you just call in CQ so a lot more stations will hear you so I click on go again on the top it should populate even more. So therefore, you know that these stations can hear you. If you highlight them, if I highlight him for instance, it gives you his call sign, where he is, and what he can hear you, what his uh, signal report is for you. And every time you call CQ, that will repopulate, as it's doing now. So you can choose which band you want. So I go to say uh, 80 meters and click on go. It disappears because we're not being transmitting on 80 meters. But if I go back to 10 meters there and click on go, it populates. So all you have to do is make sure that your call sign is in that box that frequency is correct the mode I've set to all modes although you can specifically choose which mode you want to be heard on it gives you a list of modes and I've put all modes and you click on go sorry someone just there uh, replied back to me on uh, FT8 as you can see but if we go back to PSK Reporter it shows you all the stations you can hear you so you know your timings are correct you know your audio is correct and you know you're actually transmitting it's also a good way of finding out where the propagation is and where your signal is propagating to uh, it's very good when there's a lift on, on two meters uh, so it works on all bands and all data modes. So I hope that's been a bit 
useful to you. Like I say, it's PSQ reporter, and uh, if you pick a frequency and transmit on one band, choose the band and go on that website, you should be able to see where your signal is propagating to. It's a handy little tip. I'm not sure how many people know it, but it works out really well for me. Uh, and it's a, a good little idea of how to find out whether your system's working or not on data modes. Okay, hope that's been a bit useful for you. If it has, leave me a comment, drop me a message, and uh, hopefully I'll come up with some more information for you. 73 from GZLLZX.